excited for this. All right, people. Oh. This is a game called Harvester. This game is old. It's very old. It is on Steam. It's on GOG. GOG. It's like six bucks here in Canada. Let's fucking get this shit started. Uh, so yeah, this game came out like 95. Okay. Look for special items that will restore your health. After finding required items during the day and night will be uh, the time of mischievous adventure. Double click the left mouse button on an exit to go through instantly. Use the right mouse button to attack an opponent. Left click on your character or press I to view inventory. Left click on an objective to grab it, object to grab it, and right click it to put it in your inventory. A penny saved is hardly worth the effort. Okay, can I fucking leave these tips now? Okay. Um, so this is like the kind of game, it's, it's point and click. You know, we point to move. <laughs> this is one of those things where it's like, it's kind of like the old school like Mortal Kombat games where it's like they use digitized actors, you know? And this is clearly one of them. And uh, I don't know, we just need to, we need to like click around and investigate pretty much everything. Examine the basketball. An official Dust Bowl basketball autographed by GPF. Examine the bookshelf. Examine the clarinet. Obviously, obviously some fat high school girl left it there. Record player. Examine the dresser. The dresser is unlocked. Here we go. Examine your deal. So we got, uh, two marks are visible on the end of this ball, po ball point pen. Oh, we can pick, pick it up. 25 cent piece dated 1952. Got some cool ass shades. As of yet, the future isn't so bright. So we just we added those two items to our inventory: the pen and the quarter. All right, cool. Let's just get the fuck out of here. So we can attack. Oh, sick! We got like an attack. <laughs> Look at that shit, dude. What? Responses. Who are you? Who am I? Where am I? Leave me alone, Steve, or I'll tell Mom on you. Steve, are you talking to me? Yeah, I mean, I don't want to be, because I'm trying to watch my cowboy show. I'm sorry. Look, I'm telling you, I need your help. I've lost my memory. Have not. Cut it out. I'm telling you the truth. So I guess he's like my little you brother or some work, shit. kidder, Steve. Leave me alone. I'm sick. I'm sick. Cowboy Have show. you noticed that your show is in black and white? What else? Color? On a TV? Well, I... I think I've seen a colored television before. Have not. Quit it or I'm gonna tell. Hey, look at that. Your mother let you watch this stuff? Sure. This is part of history. What made America great. And besides, blood and guts are needed. Little kids shouldn't watch this shit. Well, this you violence. can't stop me, so let me alone. Or else. Cowboy sick. Fuck Good. it. Good. Finally. What a little dipshit. Examine the TV. Old fashioned console television. Oh, fuck. Well, hello there. How about some cookies? There's plenty of rejects in the trash. Who are you? That's a fine way to talk to your mother. Bunch of rejects You're in my the mother? Trash. That's I can, right. I can eat some trash sometimes cookies. Sometimes I get treated like the hired help around here. I don't remember you. Of course you don't. Until you need your socks washed. No, you don't understand. I can't remember where I am or even who I am. Land's sake, stop your joshing, won't you? Honestly, Steve, I thought you'd grow up a little after graduation. 
I only hope that new job will plant your feet on the ground. Like so job. that's my name. Steve. Your name will be <laughs> M-U-D Mud if you don't stop teasing me, young man. Mud? Listen, what a, this what may sound insult. strange, but I've lost my memory. Do you believe me? Well, you always were a kidder, Steve. I'm serious. Sure, and next you'll be telling me you don't remember Hank and your little sister. Hank? So Hank was watching TV. Sister. Sister? Shh, you'll wake her. <laughs> oh, shit. I like, just put her down to sleep. If she wakes up, she'll oh, just want to eat again. What the hell? This is like a big ass Darling, bug. I'm busy, and if you think I'm going to play along with this nonsense, you're crazier than Sparky down at the firehouse. Fine. Maybe I am crazy. I can't rule that out. Why can't you just help me a little? Is that too much to ask? Now you've done it. Are you happy? Poor baby. There, there. Did your brother scare you? Let me see. Oh, what the f ah. is this game? Darn that wasp woman. She's a monster. That's what she is. That wasp woman? That kid just ate a wasp? Wasp woman? Tetsuo Crumb is going to hear about this. Tetsuo I want Crumb. you to go to her house right now and give her a piece of my mind. I don't know where she lives. Honestly, you can't miss a house covered with paper nests. Steve, you tell her to mind her own beeswax or by golly, I'll take it up at the PTA. Or the lodge. Don't forget to put the papers out for Jimmy. You know how he gets. Oh my gosh. So, newborn is sleeping. Can I eat these trash can cookies? Freshly baked cookies are in the trash can. Why? Like, I don't understand. Yo, give me some of that shit. Ugh. So, I was reading online that uh, it's a good idea to save often in this game. So we're just gonna go ahead and save real quick. Uh... Did that do it? Did that save? I can't even tell. I think... I think we saved. Alright, fuck it. Bam, bam! So she says something about the newspaper. A box full of newspapers. Why are there so many newspapers? Oh. Can't add it to my inventory. Oh shit. I wonder what happens when I hit somebody. Hey Steve, I'm Jimmy James. Remember me? Uh, I guess not. Hey, how come you haven't been putting the paper out for me in the morning? I got better things to well, do. Well, I mean, don't, fuck you. selfish punk. <laughs> How'd you expect a working Joe to make an honest living? You don't put the paper out, I'm out of a job. So what? You don't get paid for picking up papers anyway. This is no building burnt usually down. Drop what off the papers? heck else am I supposed to do? Listen, start putting that paper out and everything will be Jake, okay? That's all I want. That and a pair of sneakers. Walking sneakers. this route every day has worn holes in mine. Say, you got any spare sneakers? Nope. Oh, gee whiz. See you later, alligator. Fuck this kid. Oh. Uh. <laughs> oh, oh. Uh. Wait, what? <laughs> that kid just pulled out a fucking gun? Okay. <laughs> Holy fuck this game, dude. What is going on? <laughs> it's America. Paul oh, Billy's here in the chat. The kid just pulled out a fucking piece. All right. All right. All right. All right. So, let's grab our paper again. Let's see if we can just give him the paper first. Wait. Do I have the paper? Just shut this kid up. MK Toasty wins, says that uh, Steve walks like a chode. <laughs> here we go, here we go. You just use, use newspaper on Jimmy James. Hey Steve, I'm Jimmy James. Remember me? Uh, I guess not. Hey Steve, you've been doing a swell job putting the paper out in the oh, morning. Oh, there we go. You just keep doing that and we won't have any problems. That's not much to ask, is it? 
See you later, alligator. See you later. All right. Don't bitch out. Punch him again. I don't know, man. I don't think it's a good idea. For some reason, he just he just has a gun. You know. Oh, what the fuck? I'm missing. What? <laughs> okay. I don't think I can punch him any better than what I just did. Okay, I should stop giving in to the chat here. Okay, let's let's just get this over with. Save and then try to punch him. I just that's what I basically just did. Not giving in. Alright, we're just gonna give him his paper. We're gonna This kid clearly Haste. is able to kick my Haste. ass. See you later. Alright. Grab a knife. I don't think we have knives. Okay, this is the fucking neighborhood. Oh fuck, this is confusing. There's so many places to go. Okay, so this is my house. Pots Potsdam res residence. Let's go to the next door. I want we, we gotta talk to like the the knife lady, right? Potsdam residence. Who's walking to their fucking house? Forget it. There he is, my future son-in-law. And how's he doing today? What brings him to the Pottstown household? Huh? Huh? What the fuck? I have lost my memory. I've come over to see Stephanie. Ooh, yeah, let's go see Stephanie. Oh, you'll have to ask the missus about that. Stephanie's grounded to Wait. the wedding. And he said my future son-in-law. I guess that's changing my... Changing her mind at the last minute. That's Not my fiancé? with fiance? all that meat at stake. Meat. Meat is the foundation of any decent society. Everyone needs at least three servings of red meat a day. And anyone who says otherwise is a commie. Ha! And once you're married to Stephanie, I'll be part of the family too. And your father will give me all the meat I want. <sighs> all that meat. Time to make up for not getting into the lodge. That's the second time they've mentioned this lodge thing, right? Why are you so anxious to get into the lodge? Fucking Steve, there's Why wonders so inside. Anxious? I've heard there's more meat in there than they know what to do. Now that you're of age, Steve... Why is there like this static... You might go effect? down to the post office and fill out a lodge application. They're always looking for new blood. Tell me about this wedding. Well, it looks like we're going to have to hold the wedding down at the funeral parlor. The wedding at the fucking funeral parlor? Since I'm not a member of the lodge. <laughs> Mr. Moynihan has given his okay. And your father is going to cater the affair <laughs> with plenty of meat. Sorry. You'll have to ask Mrs. Potsdam for permission to see Stephanie. Damn, you whipped. Look at this fucking guy. What's he doing with his hands? This top tier voice acting. This is like audio loop too. The man of the house squeezing his meat. There's just a fucking big picture of meat on the fucking wall. <laughs> Let's fucking go. What else can we examine here? Remember, we gotta examine everything. Ice box. Hello, Steve. Have you floss today? I'd like to see well, Stephanie. Well, Stephanie is grounded, Steve. Why? I'm sure I don't know. Mr. Poston has sent her to a room, and in her room she'll stay until Mr. Poston says otherwise. Probably until the wedding. Damn. Mr. Poston feels there's too much at stake to allow Stephanie to run around loose. She doesn't want to get married either, huh? Are you saying you don't want to marry my daughter? I don't, I don't really know, know what this daughter, daughter looks Mrs. like. Potsdam. Why is she grounded? Afraid she'll run away before the wedding? No! She's as delighted as we are about the wedding. Every bit as delighted as we are. But she might get hit by a car, or a falling piano, or who knows what. Mr. Poston wants us all to be one happy family, and he doesn't want to risk anything happening at the last minute. He probably doesn't want to risk anything happening so he can get that meat. I don't see any reason why not. 
Hey. Give my regards to your parents. So now we should be able to go upstairs, I guess. This fucking music, dude. All right. Examine shit. I don't know. First door, maybe. I don't know. She's pretty. Spectacular view of aluminum siding. Medicine cabinet. Reeks of various toiletries. Oh, here we go. Examine the aspirin. Oh, we can just take it. Or a lube. Woo! One hour cough medicine. Oh, just fucking loot their... Oh, I can't take this one. Yeast and yeast disinfectant, not to be used for baking cookies. <laughs> oh my goose! Examine the tampons. Tampons. Better ask Stephanie about these. <laughs> I can take them. Yes. Examine the vitamins. New zippy vitamins will pick you up. I can take these ones. Just fucking looting the place. We got dental floss. Band aids. I can't take the band aids. Exit. Picture on the walls hanging a bit crooked. Oh, fuck. Wait. What? <laughs> Why is there a hole? Hidden behind the picture. What if we go back? Oh, it's the same. <laughs> MK Toasty wins in the chat. It's just like, yes. <laughs> it's the same fucking sequence. All right. Uh, this game. That's kind of disturbing, though. Like, what? What is the father wanting to creep up? And, like, watch his fucking daughter get changed or some shit? You know? Examine the closet. She's wearing something completely different now. I don't understand. That's called the glory hole. <laughs> Let's see what else we got. She has nice taste. Who are you? What are you doing in my room? Haven't you heard? We're getting married. So, you're the one. Steve, isn't it? What, does she have amnesia too? You don't know me? I mean, I don't know anyone. I don't remember anything. How many times do I have to say it? Yeah, Just she definitely one, has Stephanie, amnesia because as well. I can't remember a damn thing either. Really? Oh God, I thought it was just me. You're not alone. Can you tell me what's going on here? This voice acting Those is the best. people downstairs have locked me in my room. They say I'm grounded until the wedding. Those people. So she doesn't even think that they're her parents. MK Toasty Win says she's got a nice taste in pussy. Nice taste in pussy. This is getting really weird. Those people. They claim to be my parents. I can't dispute it because I can't remember for sure one way or the other, but it doesn't feel right. I like right. how Steve is still facing the other direction. <laughs> do you have any idea where you do belong? No, but I'm fairly sure I don't belong in Harvest. Yeah. I can't remember anything, but I feel in my heart that the woman downstairs is not my mother. She's like this thing, this thing. like a parody, a bad joke with mother as the punchline. Does that make any sense? I I'm glad I'm not the only one who sees it that way. Punch Stephanie. I thought I was going crazy. Join the club. But we can't both be crazy, Stephanie. Either way, something really weird is going on here. I've got to escape, and so do you. Because in a way, whether you know it or not, I think we're both grounded. Escape. MK Toasty Wind says, punch Stephanie. That will get her memory back. Escape? Harvest is a prison, Steve. Don't forget that. Of course I'm right. 
lodge? Everything in Harvest seems to revolve around this damned lodge. This Order of the Harvest Moon. Who Harvest Moon? That's They're a good responsible game. for this insane bake sale that's coming, and for the Harvest Blood Drive, too. When people talk about the lodge, it's always in this hushed, reverent tone. Oh my god. Mom keeps telling me that women can't join, but she keeps pressuring me to get you to join. Some stutterage. She's not the only one who wants me to sign on with the lodge. That's probably the worst thing you could do. You think the lodge is some kind of trap? I think all of Harvest is a trap. If that's true, maybe joining the lodge is the way out. Look, why not explore the town a little? I can't get out of here, but if I could, that's what I'd do. Maybe you can figure out what's happening here without going anywhere near the lodge. Fuck You're that, really afraid the of the lodge. lodge, aren't you? I look at that building. All lit up at night, and I get scared. <laughs> They're using the same I mean, fucking look at the damn FMV thing. sequence. Seem like a harmless bunch of masons to you? Alright. Come back and visit me soon, okay? Fuck yeah, let's do it. Okay, okay, MK Toasty Wind says to punch Stephanie. I don't think it's a good idea, but I'm not totally against it. I do want to see what happens. I don't even know if I can. She's done. She's dead. Is that it? That's just fucking game over. <laughs> I got caught so fast. What were you thinking? Attacking someone like that? With so many witnesses around? You'll have plenty of time to think about it, boy. No, I won't. You're gonna kill me right now. Somebody help me! <laughs> I don't have any time to think about it. What do you people want from me? Too late for that, boy. Ain't it, Sergeant? Indeed it is, Sheriff. Answers may only be found. Executioner, dude, that was that was harsh. There's the executioner again. <laughs> that was harsh, studios. This was fucking just spitting up blood. <laughs> MK Tell Stevens, this fucking game. Oh my god. All right. New plan. Don't kill Stephanie. <laughs> Let's get the fuck out of here. That is our new plan. Oh, fuck. How do we get out of here? Where's the exit? Oh, there it is. All right, where to next, guys? There's an abandoned house. Potsdam residence. Abandoned house. Check out this abandoned house, though. Examine the car. This is where that wasp lady was, right? Oh, fuck. It's not often that oh, I get Tetsua. visitors. Are you the wasp woman? I am Tetsua Crum. The ignorant of harvest called me the wasp woman. A pejorative, no doubt. Born of fear and a poverty of imagination. I don't understand. The politics of honey. The Judeo-Christian rites of sacrifice and conventional taboos against unbridled pleasure are all responsible for the prejudice against wasps. <laughs> that was the best MK Tilsty one. It's just like, you'll have plenty of time to think about what you've done. <laughs> and they kill him right away. <laughs> I was like, damn, what sacrifice? Ooh, pleasure. Let's go. Yes. A great deal of pleasure. The wasp is a sensual being, 
not a laborer, hedonistic instead of industrial. Some think them quick to anger. In truth, they are easily swayed to ecstasy. They penetrate your flesh and the muscular contractions in their thorax as they pump venom could be likened to the muscular contractions of ejaculation. <laughs> Each painful welt, oh my an God. act of love. Oh, I'm so glad we're playing this game, you guys. <sighs> Regard the wasp. Wasps produce nothing for others, but only for themselves. Wasps build nests and more wasps, nothing more. They spread into eaves and attics, not to make honey for supermarkets, but to buzz and rustle on their own paper, perpetuating their own agenda, growing stealthily, surely. The Jesus. most relentless of insects. Could this fucking lady talk any slower? Innocent children. What better way to describe oh, for the fuck's sakes. Carefree, wild, beautiful things. If they wish to share their love with babies, or any of the rest of you ignorant hicks, that is not my concern. All right, let's get the fuck out. Should we talk about sacrifice? When a bee stings, it rips itself apart. Okay, we're just gonna skip through this. Let's get the fuck out of here. Does she have anything here? Examine the ice box sealed shut with wasp nests. Yeah, let's just fucking loot her house. A wasp nest. It'd probably be a bad idea. Is it just like a picture of a wasp? Probably be a da bad idea to fucking punch the wasp lady, right? Well, that's that. Uh, what else we got? The Johnson residence. Should we just take this? Ooh, let's go to the fucking lodge. We gotta go check out this lodge, man. Is that the executioner? Examine the pipe. Alarming green sludge oozes from the drain. Save then punch her, Billy says. No witnesses. Should we go? This is true, there, there wouldn't be any witnesses. She's by herself. So if you kill someone, there are no witnesses around. Will I still get arrested? This is a test. This is a test. Okay. But like, what do I get? But I mean, punching the wasp lady, she'll just like... Oh fuck, I just skipped the scene. I skipped the fucking scene. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I skipped the fucking scene because I was mashing that shit. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> there is a scene. Hey, keep your wasps away from my <laughs> from my sister. Bam. What the fuck was she, man? She was a wasp. She was a fucking wasp. <laughs> oh my god. Am I gonna get caught? No. Yes. We fucking, we got away with it, you guys. Woo! One punch and her head flies off. That's strength right there. All right, let's go to the fucking lodge now. Examine the hole. There's like eyes in here and shit. Red eyes gleam from the eerie malevolence from the darkness. Only initiates may enter the hall of the Order of the Harvest Moon. Did you <laughs> say something? What is this guy's I voice? I did not speak, but my mind touched yours. Telepathy? But how? Only those who seek enlightenment warrant my attention. Do you hunger? Uh, yeah. Fuck, I want that true knowledge shit, man. There are always obstacles to the path. 
You must first fill out an application to be considered for initiation into the mysteries. I gotta fill out an application like I'm applying for a job? What is this? Members of the Order are privy to many hidden truths. Such as? They know what the trees whisper to the wind to make it howl. They know what the world knows as it squirms in a rotting leg. They know what you've forgotten. What's this guy doing in a fucking American suburb? Man, I got no idea. You're talking about my amnesia. When you find the path, truth will be revealed to you. When you possess the truth, you will know what you knew. And if anything remains forgotten, then it was never worth the knowing. What the fuck is he talking about? Examine the wall. Have you obtained an application from the postmaster? Not the, yet. The fucking if you postmaster? Would find knowledge. You must seek it from the first realization of the wanting. Whether you do or not matters little to me. Many are called, but few chosen. All right, we have to go. Probably, I guess, find the post office. Post office. It's a fucking barber shop. That's convenient. My house. General store missile base. Let's go to their fucking post office. Ooh, 41% off packing peanuts. Assorted colors. A blind woman. A blind woman is trying to read her mail. Does this mean I can kill the postmaster too? <laughs> Cause she's fucking blind. Talk to Postmaster Boyle. Yes? I need some help. Mr. Postmaster Boyle, what can I do for you today? Uh, I want a lodge application. Mm, sorry, youngster, we're out of applications right now. Come on, you must have one around here somewhere. Well, I do have the master, but you can't write on that. And I only make copies once a month on the button, regular as clockwork. Why don't you just make another fucking copy? Afraid not, son. You can't get them anywhere but the post office. I'm sorry, you'll just have to come back in a month, same as anyone else. And even then, I can't guarantee you'll get an application. The line is always long, and there are never enough to go around. It's very important that I get in quickly. That's what they all say. Postmaster Boyle, I'll oh, just die sakes. if I don't get into the lodge. I can't make an exception, young man. It just wouldn't be right. Next time you post, don't forget the zip code. Fuck this guy, dude. Sorry, son. No time to talk. Neither rain nor... Should I... Should I attack him? Next time you post, don't... I wonder, because the lady's fucking blind. Right? Let's see what happens. Oh, fuck, I missed. I have to get into, like, closer range? What is this shit, dude? Oh, come on. I don't even know if I'm close enough. Can I not get him behind... Because he's behind the fucking counter? I can't get him because he's fucking behind the counter, guys. Fuck this shit. Fucking lodge applications. <laughs> Alright, fuck it. Let's get out of here. Fuck that guy, man. Okay, uh, so what? So we can't get into the lodge because we need a fucking application. Johnson residence. We haven't been to the Johnson residence. Cemetery. Hello, Steve. Fuck. How's the husband to be? Other than having no memory, I guess I'm all right. All right. This guy is creepy as fuck. Look at his face. Considering what you are getting into if you haven't gotten into it already <laughs> speaking of which I heard Stephanie was grounded her daddy's worried about getting his meat though if I were him I'd be more concerned about Stephanie getting some meat oh uh, my right God. and you are 
You always were a kidder, Steve. I'm Mr. Johnson, remember? Glad you stopped by. Just got finished waxing the tucker. Is that what I he calls could it? use a little relaxation. But since Edna's not here, I might as well talk to you. Can this guy talk any fucking slower? Who's Tucker again? Heck of an automobile, isn't she? Damn shame I have to sit out here and watch over her all the time. But if I didn't, those stupid kids might scratch her up playing ball. Hell yes, it's real. <laughs> I wouldn't be so protective of her if she was just a reproduction. I'm mighty particular about my Tucker. I had the garage remodeled like a fortress, so I could lock her up at night and get some sleep. I'm sure she's safe enough inside. Why a few months back, someone in broke there? into my house, trying to get into the garage. I had to gripe like hell before the sheriff agreed to start the evening patrols and instigate the curfew. Fuck this Bye shit. Bye now. Examine manhole cover. Locked in place. Oh, I can't go into his house? Fuck it, let's get out of here. <laughs> this fucking guy. Barbershop, general store. What else we got? Meat plant. Chin Memorial School. TV station. Wait, wait. Edna's diner. I guess that's the, he was talking about Edna. Maybe that's like his wife or some shit. Uh, police station, fire station, newspaper building, Wayward Hotel. This place is a cemetery. This place is huge. The lodge, missile base again. Uh, where do you guys want? Where do you guys want? Ah, uh, fuck. We've pretty much checked out. There's a couple places. We didn't go to general store or barbershop yet. Let's go to. Uh, Let's go to Edna's, right? Examine the motorcycle. Because this was, I guess, stay away from the police station. Talk to Karen. Hi, what's your name? Karen. What are you doing? Playing. My mom is working, so I gotta stay out of her hair. Wanna play? Not now, maybe later. Okay. Bye bye. Look at this dank ass booth, dude. Examine the drawer. An unlocked drawer. Apparently, I can fucking rummage through it. Examine the straight slot screwdriver. This town is a bit screwy. Oh, sweet. We just got a screwdriver? <laughs> play with her. I had no option to play with her. It decided for me. Oh. Steve, what are you doing sneaking up on me like that? God, for a second I thought you were Mr. Johnson. <sighs> what would you like to order? Sure. And my name's Edna Fitzpatrick. I'm not the one with amnesia. So then you believe me. She knows I have amnesia. Now you always were a kidder, Steve. I guess I've changed. I'm not kidding. Now, Steve... Faking amnesia won't her help face. anything. Her fucking face. If you don't want to marry Stephanie, then don't. But don't play sick, for heaven's sake. I'd expect that from Karen, not an 18-year-old. Yo, I'm getting married at 18? You've met Karen, my 8-year-old. Other than the diner, she's all I have. So fucking weird, man. That green screen. <laughs> Mr. Johnson. Mr. Johnson has a... a liking for me. I call it a crush, but that's too innocent a word. He's a bitter man with too much time on his hands. He's never gotten over being rejected by the Lodge. And there's something unwholesome in the way he looks at me. <laughs> he wants a piece I'm of I'm always hat. glad when the Sheriff comes in every day at noon. What is this Lodge? The man? Lodge is the repository of all wisdom. You should join the Order of the Harvest Moon, Steve. And soon. Why? For God's sake, what is it about this place? The wheat ripens and waits not for the scythe. The farmer who waits too long, it were better that he use the scythe to rip his own stomach out than to stay his scythe when the wheat ripens. What? The Harvest Moon wanes and then comes winter. 
An empty belly, the body son's belly, gurgling within or bloody on the ground. What does it benefit a man if he gains his soul and loses the world? You hunger. Feed yourself before it's too late. Oh. Edna? Steve. What happened? Were we talking about Boyle? What the fuck? Or was it Karen? Is she crazy? You seemed strange there for a minute. I'm sorry. I'm under a lot of stress. Running this diner all alone. Forgive me. Postmaster Boyle. Ooh! Though I see them together a lot, Boyle and the sheriff never act very friendly towards each other. Almost like there's some kind of bond between them besides friendship. Though what it might be, I can't imagine. Maybe Sheriff Duane resents the fact that he's never been able to get into the lodge. Though that's not Boyle's fault. I mean, he just hands out the applications. About this fucking lodge he doesn't decide who gets admitted. Okay. Peace out. Stop by anytime, Steve. I, I think that is our... That's our that's our next location. We're gonna cause apparently the sheriff and postmaster Boyle don't get along, right? So maybe cause we need we need to get a copy of that application from Postmaster Boyle. So maybe if we go to the sheriff we can get some kinda fucking